This video was brought to you by Foxhole, a fantastic game where you and hundreds of other players battle it out in a full-scale, persistent war. If you guys want to see more, check out UpSquad Plays Foxhole over on Headhunter Gaming, and don't forget to check out Foxhole on Steam Early Access. I mean, let's be honest, the only light pollution out here either comes from our flashlight or whatever the hell that giant blob of light is way over there. Likely a large settlement. Likely disrupting my stargazing efforts. That seems a bit selfish. It is. Anyway, weren't we doing something before we ran into Power Armor's McGee? Is that his name now? No, and to be honest, it's not even fun to say. We're not gonna call him that again. We were assisting the Minutemen. Preston marked a settlement on the map. How did he do that, anyway? It's complicated. I just tripped on a skeleton. And I was a combat engineer before the war. I think I would understand. Unless, I don't know, he communicated the coordinates to you in semaphore or something. Anyway, main bridge seems pretty far, so I guess we'll just take the trade bridge. Which, to be honest, looks more stable than literally every other bridge that we have come across out here. Seriously, this bridge is disturbingly intact. None of the railway ties even rotted away or fell off or anything. This is a good bridge. And that's noteworthy. There's not a lot of nice things left in the world, and that bridge is nice. It's a bridge. Yes, but it's a bridge without any holes in it. As long as it makes you happy. It doesn't make me happy. Not a lot of things are left in the world that will make me happy. If anything is left in the world that makes me happy for that matter. Okay, so... If this is the settlement, I am very disappointed. This is tiny. Excuse me. I hate to interrupt what I am sure is a wonderful nap in the middle of the night, but I'm did here. The Minutemen send you? As a matter of fact, the Minutemen did send me. Or at least what's left of the Minutemen. What seems to be the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Well, good news is I probably can. I'll see what I can do. Good. We didn't know who else to turn to. Well, to be fair, there's not a lot of other people to turn to. Unless you turn to the Brotherhood of Steel guy, I'm pretty sure there's only one of them capable of actually fighting. And they don't seem very well equipped. And they don't seem very well equipped, yes. Unless you count the T-60 power armor that could withstand the fire of a rocket engine. Which is honestly very impressive. Are they spec for that? As a matter of fact, they are not, but then again, we never put one underneath a rocket engine, so I wouldn't know. Seemed unnecessary. Thought I heard something. Guess it was nothing. That or it's my vivid imagination playing tricks on me for the billionth time. Or, again, maybe someone will eventually jump at me with a chloroform-soaked pillow pet. Again with the pillow pet? I don't have a lot of stuffed animals to work with, okay? All right, I went to Build-A-Bear like once in my entire life. And now it blew up, so it's not like we're ever gonna go again. How about pogs? What the hell are pogs? Wow, I thought you were a geek. I'm not. Okay, I am, but that's not the point. Look at this tiny shack. There's no bed. Maybe they sleep in this bathtub. Eh, not out of the question. I've slept in a bathtub. When? Uh, 2072, I think it was, back in college. It was this enormous frat party that I was obligated to go to. Okay, hold that thought. People are being killed by other people. As opposed to people being killed by robots or animals or mutant horrors or whatever. You can tell because there are multiple guns going off, and I have no idea who I should be shooting right now. Um... Which one of you are the good guys? Uh, okay, apparently not you. Or maybe you were. Um, I come in peace. It's okay. Everything is fine. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna take his stuff and his stuff and leave. Okay, peace out. <sighs> that was scary. In what way? In the way of my extremely overwhelming social anxiety. What about Preston? You're fine around him. That's a bit different. We're helping people. And the settlers you've talked to? They're the people who are being helped, so obviously we have to interact with them as well. And the Brotherhood? Uh, pretty much the same. Are you not hearing these gunshots? It sounds like a wedding in Texas where celebratory gunfire is- uh, Where celebratory gunfire is legal! <sighs> And everyone is emptying their clips into the sky. Of course, as opposed to right now, where I'm emptying clips into people's faces. Oh, this is a revolver. So... I'm not entirely sure what I'm emptying. Probably the cylinder. Hey, Mary, watch me pick this lock in three seconds. Fuck. Stupid... Fuck! Damn it! Three seconds. I don't want to hear it. Almost got it. There we go. It's three seconds if you... S seconds were re really, really slow. Okay, I don't... Just just shut up. I didn't say anything. You were gonna say something. <laughs> mm, the drugs are delicious today. And I bet these people are hungry for more bullets. Oh, boy. Doesn't that hurt? Well, uh, well, it's called shoot I mean, the initial sticking a giant needle in my chest hurts. Yeah, sure. But after that, it feels really, really good. Oh, for God's sake. Why don't we just walk up to the guy and throw the bullet at him at the... His head exploded. Well, that's neat. I didn't think we were working with a large enough caliber that was capable of doing that. Didn't the same thing happen the other day? No, that was different. That was completely different. How so? I punched him. Right. Yeah, honestly, I surprised myself with that one. Bullets, bullets, looting of the dead. As is my legal right, or as legal as things get out here, being the victor of this battle. So then again, thinking back on it, there probably isn't any law whatsoever. <laughs> Which means I can inject all the drugs I want and get away with it! You really shouldn't. Well, I mean, if I shouldn't, you shouldn't be restoring my HP bar every single time I inject myself with a stim. Also, this is a really unsettling thing to hang at your front door. Okay, and we're back on the streets. Where the hell are we? Let me just get my bearings here. Uh, looks like, uh... Well, we're super close to the baseball stadium, so we know that, at least. <sighs> so, we'll use that as a reference point. Kind of like how sailors will use stars to navigate the ocean. We will navigate by the sheer size of a baseball field. Even though it's not tall enough to see throughout the entire city, we'll still use it. Whoa, hi! <laughs> okay, we should not be rounding corners all willy-nilly like that. Oh, but I see Dogmeat here has no problem with jumping straight into all forms of trouble. Because he apparently has no sense of fear or reason. That or he's so absent-minded he doesn't pay attention to the bullets flying at him. Though he's stayed alive this long, so I guess he can do what he wants. <sighs> anyway, you're the only lookout. I should never mind. No, that was the second guy. I'm just super absent-minded right now. What is a boy? Is that a gun in a shopping cart? Uh, can you handle it? Uh, apparently yes! Okay. I was just about to come over and shoot it with a bunch of holes, but uh, sure, you, you do you. Well done. Anyway, let's take care of this. Okay, old clothing stores. That's good. Clothing stores are fun to fight through. 
Not that I make a habit of fighting through them, but there are a lot of places to hide. I was about to say. Yeah, well, hold that thought. We're already under fire here. Yeah, get him, dog meat! Rip his goddamn leg off! Let him bleed all over the floor and think about all the terrible things that he's done. Or we could just blow his head off. Whoa! That would have been bad. At least I think it could have been bad. For all I know, it could be hooked up to a confetti launcher. Yeah, another one. Well, this one's definitely hooked up to this grenade, which would probably ignite all of the gasoline on the floor. At least I think it's gasoline. Either way, I shall not be bursting into flames on this day, unless we start hucking Molotovs. But then again, this structure's mostly made of wood, and that would just cause the whole damn building to burn to the ground. Ah, 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 you son of a bitch! You caught me in the middle of a bit! Ah. So then again, partly my fault, of course. Automated machine gun turrets. I forget how those are absolutely necessary in front of the dressing rooms. Clearly the most defendable position. Anybody here? Uh, who am I kidding? I know you're here. I can see your little arrow thingy. Oh, but I didn't see yours. Mary, your little contact lens thingies didn't account for him. I determined him to be the bigger threat. <laughs> but he went down in fewer hits. Honestly, the threat was the bigger threat. I'm okay. You worry me. I worry myself. But at the same time, who cares? People are fucked up. Everybody has problems, like my obsessive need to take things. Like this typewriter. Seriously? Do you know how many springs I could get out of a typewriter by beating it with a hammer? Roughly 250. Click. And yeah, you're you're probably right. Minus the ones that get smashed with the hammer. But that's a lot of springs for us to use, and I could definitely use- Ah, fuck! God, what the hell did you hit me with? Goddamn pieces! God, shit, that stinks. What is that? God, it's just... It's a cut. What do you have, a switchblade? I don't know. Okay, I'm taking you out before you can... Holy crap, he melted. That's... Awesome. Haven't seen shit like that since the war. And it was awesome then, too. Let's see, stims, caps... A board game. Hey Mary, you want to play Blast Radius? I don't have hands. Well, I mean, I can roll the dice for you and move your piece if you want. Wouldn't that be basically playing with yourself? Yeah, well, so that's what she said. Sorry. Never mind. No, seriously, what? Fuck it, you missed it. Check it out. Camera. Good camera, actually. And behold, Boston from the rooftops this time. And I don't know how we're gonna get down. Fear of heights? Please, not even. I'm not your average everyday vault dweller that grew up underground and naturally would have a fear of heights. I was frozen for 210 years. Also jumped off shit like this all the time. Okay. Nailed it. Anyway, now that we're back on solid ground, or as solid as ground can get with all the rubble everywhere, let's make our way to the ballpark and figure out why the hell all the lights are still on. That, or we could investigate that noise I just heard. Oh, hello! We gotta be nice? Nope, 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 we're not. We are not. Granted, you didn't fire off a single bullet, but I consider you pointing a gun at my head to be not very nice. Oh look, more trip wires protecting these people, okay? Sounds like fun. And by fun, I of course mean I just broke your traps. Though to be fair, said traps weren't assembled very well to begin with. I mean, to be fair, all I did was stick my screwdriver in there, twist, <laughs> twist it around a little bit, and then proceeded to set you guys on fire. All right, we done? No, no, we're not. Okay, I'm somewhat impressed, actually. Well, here comes another one. All right, surely you're dead now, yeah? Still kicking? Oh, God damn it. Here comes another one. 
Oh god, you're still- Okay, you are the first person I have ever met in my entire life that I have set on fire three times and he just somehow managed to live. Congratulations! You get a fucking cookie! And by cookies, I mean laser beams! <sighs> well, that was a hassle. Jeez, you okay, Dogmate? I know I set him on fire three times, but I think you got caught in that as well. Yeah, you're fine. Sweet, some machine. Wait, what do you mean I'm carrying too much? In a post-nuclear environment, it is important to not overburden oneself with an overabundance of gear. In the event that you pick up more than my system deems you are capable of effectively carrying, I am required by protocol to Yeah, yeah, you okay, so drop some shit. Yeah, yeah, I get it. All right. Still, though, that's really annoying. Can't you turn it off? It cannot be disabled. Oh. Well, that's fun. Really? What? No! Pick up on my sarcasm! Still working on that. Well, keep working on it. Also, see if you can turn off this weight limit thing. It cannot be disabled. Well, then can I overcome it with sheer willpower? It is not impossible. Well, there we go. I'll just overcome it with sheer willpower at some point. Yeah, I can make this work. Look, the sun's coming up. It's gonna be a great day. Who's going pew pew at me? Oh. Someone rigged up a laser pistol. Okay. Anyway, now that I was saying, oh, it's got to be a great day. <laughs> I hope. Don't know yet. <laughs> but it feels like a great day so far. Oh, boy. I don't know. I could get my head blown off at any moment. Or it could rain. God, I hope it doesn't rain. Actually, I don't really think about it. Mary, are you waterproof? Up to 200 meters. Okay, so the same as my old watch. Good to know. Now that I know that, I have nothing to worry about when it starts raining. Oh, it's still an inconvenience that I might catch cold. God, I hate rain. I just can't win, can I? Oh, that again. Looks like we found Diamond City. So, that's a win, I guess. Uh, is it open? What do you mean you can't open the gate? So it's not open? I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. What did you do? Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. In a tizzy? Who says that anymore? You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. That's exactly what I said to my parents. So, wait. Did they close the entire city because of you? And if so, does that not also mean I can't get in? What, how's this work? You. Why, you why are we whispering? Side, right? I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just got here, but, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. Play along. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? I never said that. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in? Or uh, I mean, yeah, 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 open the gate. The what she said. Jeez, yes. All right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Personal? I don't think it. Better have inside quick before Dan catches on with the block. Well, how long could it possibly take them to close this gate? All right. Oh yeah, that looks safe. Definitely feel okay walking underneath this thing. Uh, anyway, um, after you? Wouldn't have it any other way. Well, I mean, the dog will probably run out in front of us anyway, so it's not like any of that matter. That, see, that he did it again. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. Were you, you waiting here devious, for us? Rabble rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped Ooh, that for parts. Mr. McDonough, tyrant mayor shuts down the press. 
Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Uh, I'm what you would call new to the area. I'm pretty out of the loop. So, get me up to speed here. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? You write a newspaper? Out here? That's honestly rather impressive, but yeah, sure. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome Do to I? the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Does everyone here wear blue? Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Muckraker. Good term. Might use that. Anyway, what the hell are you... What's going on between you twos anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. I'm looking for someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Well, I'm not entirely sure if you can help, but my son, Sean, he's less than a year old. I have no idea where he is. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? Can you not? First missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Every service conceivable, you say? Well, a mayor of a city as great as that must know who can help me, so who can help no, me? I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. Of I'm course you don't. Man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City security can't spare one officer to help. Yeah, I'm Who's with her. Truth, McDonough? What's the real reason security never investigates I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Oh, it's wonderful. Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Oh, really? I'll definitely keep that in mind, then. Didn't you have overwhelming social anxiety? Yeah, but of course that doesn't mean I can't do everything in my power to overcome it. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. In more ways than one. Wake up to the job at the bell No sweat, now feeling swell Gee golly, it's a beautiful day You're gonna burn my troubles away I'm going to live Light up the town The walls at home I'm melting down I'm rising up loud I'm rising Well, I mean, I can roll the dice for you and spin your piece. Roll the dice and spin your piece. Yeah, okay. I mean, the game has a spinner, but okay. 